any media composer editor knows that to have the best experience is to go in and customize your user setting and your user interface and your keyboard. So you can have your timeline window floating, you can have your composer window floating, your bins, or they could be docked, all depending on how you'd like to work. Now we also know that there are people coming from other applications, so I'd like to show you that you can go into your user settings and actually set up to create a new user profile if you're transitioning from Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a user profile name, MKP Pro. And what that does is actually changes the UI so it looks like Adobe Premiere Pro. You have your source window in the upper left, you have your record or your timeline in the center, you have all of your media management in the lower left hand corner, and things like your effect palette and other tools, and you have your audio tool on the right side as well. And if you go to your keyboard settings, you'll see that it will default the keyboard to be an Adobe Premiere Pro keyboard. So again, giving you the tools and the familiarity of a UI that you're comfortable with and the keyboard shortcuts so that if you are transitioning from Adobe Premiere into Avid Media Composer, the transition is going to be much easier.